Hi, this is Melanie Fine with Chem and 10. Today I'm going to teach about distinguishing between sigma and pi bonds and what they are. A sigma bond is a linear head-on overlap of orbitals. For example, in hydrogen gas, which is a bond between two hydrogen atoms, the s orbitals overlap each other, so that would be a sigma bond. Pi bonds, on the other hand, are parallel sideways overlap of p orbitals. So here we would have sideways overlap of p orbitals, and that would be a pi bond. All single bonds are sigma bonds only. They could be sigma bonds between s orbitals, or even sigma bonds between p orbitals. And all double bonds consist of one sigma bond and one pi bond. And of course, triple bonds would be one sigma bond and two pi bonds. So all bonds consist of a sigma bond, for one of the bonds, if it has more than one bond, then the double bond would be an, a pi bond in addition to that sigma bond, and a triple bond would be two pi bonds in addition to that sigma bond. So when we look at an example here, hydrogen fluoride, notice that hydrogen has a 1s orbital, and the valence electron, or the, the missing electron, is in the p orbital. So a sigma bond is a single bond between hydrogen and fluoride, so the overlapping would be a sigma bond overlap for the single bond, and so these are direct linear overlaps. You see the, the p orbital is on its side and it's overlapping directly with the s orbital of hydrogen. Here in ethylene, it's a little bit different. You notice we have a double bond, so one of those bonds is going to be sigma, and the other one is going to be a pi. So the sigma would be a direct head-on overlap of the p orbitals, whereas pi would be a sideways overlap. So it has one sigma bond and one pi bond. These special connotations here, or at least this sp2, has to do with hybridization, which we'll talk about in a later video. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you want to get more chemical bonding help and a free gift, go to purplebonding.com. Thanks for listening. I'm Melanie Fine.